What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we've got quite an interesting video. This is a small creator who has been caught well and truly using aimbot. Well, some of his fan base just don't seem to understand how aimbot works. So throughout this video, whilst I demonstrate how he is using aimbot, I am going to give his supporters, his followers, a little bit of a lesson of how aimbot malfunctions happen and how aimbot can be toggled off and on throughout a single kill. So, without further ado, let's crack on with the video. So we're going to start this pretty much from the start of where I figured out that this guy was cheating. Taylor Scott tagged me in a post. And in this post, there were two clips shared, right? He tagged me and Sensor saying, what's your take, gentlemen? Saying, is this kid aimbotting or not? He's saying it's the right stick flick. So this guy straight away is saying right stick flick on both of these clips that this guy shared. They are going to be involved in a compilation of clips that I go through very shortly in this video. But for now, I want to take you to the next step. It wasn't just the one guy accusing Osa faded of using aimbot. Even somebody called Evan here posted another video. And again, we will break this clip down very shortly. I just want to show you how on earth this guy defends himself in the comments section, right? So this is literally one of the highlights of the whole story today, okay? I actually shared that video on my Twitter account, which is badboybeaman1, by the way, if you want to go and follow me, you can. And I sent um, with it a screenshot of the image uh, of the comments that Osa made to defend himself. In this clip, am I not jumping on a windowsill without assault gloves, meaning don't have accuracy while jumping? So his excuse for having aimbot in this clip is that he slipped on a slippery windowsill, right? That is exactly what he's saying there. So obviously I put this comment out saying this MF is using aimbot and blamed it on a slippery windowsill. And right now, guys, I'm going to show you why this comment is so hilarious. Let's go and break down the clips of Osa clearly using aimbot. So the first clip we're going to break down is the one in which I retweeted where he's shooting through the front end of the airplane, which he blamed on a slippery windowsill, right? So keep that in mind whilst we break this down. We're going to show it in full speed first. Okay, so that was it in full speed. You can clearly see that he's missing his shots to start with. And then out of nowhere, it goes like a dink dink, which is in no way, shape or form a natural mechanic in the game. No matter what level sensitivity you have on your controller, no matter how slippery a windowsill is, that is not natural built in game mechanics whatsoever. What you've just seen right there at that moment is this guy toggling aimbot on. Now we're going to show you again in full speed watch it's almost like the last three bullets fire that goes ding 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 and it looks identical to aimbot being toggled on so what we can see is him moving on the windowsill now right and he's he's hitting some shots right but it goes snap 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 okay so what we've just seen then is actually a four snap pattern it did only look like three in full speed but let's watch it again so you can see the unnatural mechanics from him shooting naturally He's just like sort of crouching up and down whilst on this windowsill. It goes snap, 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 snap. In a complete and utter zigzag straight line pattern, it's gone dink, dink, dink. Like, tell me how that in any way, shape or form on controller is natural. It isn't. Maybe if this guy was using keyboard and mouse, I could say maybe he's just terrible with a keyboard and mouse but it's the fact that it snaps directly to an enemy anyway i would probably still have said it's sus but with a controller those mechanics they do not compute whatsoever so what we've actually gone and done now guys is we've slowed it down and zoomed it in you know how we like to do that and what you're going to be able to see is an up close now of the shots doing the complete zigzag motion okay even there was a little bit of a snap so snap 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 <laughs> and this guy is trying to blame the motion of his aim in that clip on a slippery windowsill i, I just can't take this guy serious that is 100 percent about a shadow of a doubt aimbot in use let's want to take a look at the next couple of clips now so this one here 
very similar but very quick as well so you can't really see it in full speed but just for video purpose we start in full speed then we start to break it down but there is a mechanical snap in this as well which again can only be caused by the likes of aimbot in use so let's watch it again now this is slow motion it comes through the door and snap so it's in a one two motion first of all his aims off completely then it goes next to the enemy then it snaps onto the enemy and down to the enemy torso okay so snaps there then there then bang right down to the enemy torso so again what you are seeing here is a pattern of three in the first clip in the airplane it was a pattern of four on the airplane clip it went bink 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 right on this one it went bink 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 so again straight lines nothing about that is natural if you are using a controller input you do not get these straight line mechanics only thing that can cause that is an aimbot toggle in those moments so we have zoomed it in as well guys so you can see it up close and personal and we can see the pattern of his aim in this clip again same as what we did in the airplane clip everything about his aim in that moment is straight line motions bink bink right it's like a right angle in this one in the other one it was a zigzag so what we've got now is another clip where he does pretty much the same thing with his aim unnatural mechanics so let's play this one through now <laughs> that's painfully obvious for me in full speed as well but maybe not for you guys so we will slow it down again here we go in 0.25 speed he does see the enemy his aim's off it's on the head it's off it's on the head and what that is caused by guys right at that moment is him toggling off and on throughout that one individual gunfight and for those of you who don't know how aimbot toggling works this can be done by having aimbot set to a key on your keyboard or a button on your controller or a button on your mouse or you can even have it tied to anything else like a an external foot pedal device so if you're shooting at an enemy you can make it sort of look natural and then just toggle on for a little bit get them headshot bits in and back to the body right and that's exactly what he's doing in this moment so let's just pull it back slightly again i want you guys to fully understand the moment he toggles but we will zoom it in as well he's toggled there he's off and he's on so it jumps to the head twice if he was that good at the game and he was able to hit headshots like that why not keep it on the head why toggle off and on or move off and on rather so this is zoomed in now he's off bang he's off bang it is so damn obvious that in this clip he is using aimbot in every single one of these clips that you've seen in in this video today he is painfully using a rage hack setting on aimbot but toggling it off and on and just so you guys are fully clued up on the matter about aimbot toggling i've got a video that can quickly show you exactly what that's like and it's pinned in the comments below and i might pin it up here as well if you remember when i upload the video but listen there is videos out there where you can understand a little bit more of how aimbot programs work there's plenty on this channel so if you are a supporter of this guy who's clearly been caught cheating and also banned from playing on cmg which is where you go and play wages then you've got to understand like if you're a supporter of him and you genuinely believe he's legit you don't know what legit gameplay looks like go and do some research and hopefully your eyes will be opened so honestly i think this osa guy is completely done but i want to use this moment as a pure and utter example of something to compare his aim to blatant toggle aimbot being used and it reminded me of this clip of diaz biffle yeah so you can clearly see how identical it is the unnatural mechanics of it jumping from point a b to c ready because nothing about aim happening like that no aim behavior built into the game should cause your aim to jump to locations in that manner unless you're using a third party software such as aimbot so yes, without a shadow of a doubt, Osa Faded is 100% using aimbot. If you disagree with me, that's fine, that's your decision. But I am 100% right on this. 
he is toggling aimbot on it is painfully obvious in just the three clips alone that i've been able to show you here today can i find his twitch account no can i find his youtube account no all over twitter though people are talking about this moment there are people literally defending him asking why he missed a couple of shots first or missed a couple of shots in between aimbot toggling is the reason why he's toggling it off and on throughout the gunfights i just hope this guy didn't make far too much money playing cmg wager games and tournaments i hope if he did cmg is somehow able to retract all of them transactions that have gone through their site and give it back to the people who've been robbed by playing against osa faded 100 a dirty horrible little cheater just like the ash biffle just like the rest of them and if you did enjoy today's video guys smash that thumbs up if you're new to the channel subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss our future uploads and if you want to contact me about any streamer who you believe is cheating hit me up over on twitter at badboybeaming1 and one last thing before we go if you're anything like me and you're dealing with daily stress and a lot of anxiety believe me when i say this supreme cbd products are unreal these gummies have helped me massively with the anxiety and stress of my everyday workload and they could probably help you too if you're dealing with those things i've got other products here as well including the oil these drops work great just before you go into bed for anybody who has like sleepless nights these can help massively and i've got plenty of other products to actually test out from them i've not tried this yet but it's the deep freeze balm i've also got the soft gel capsules and the reason i chose these is because i've got a sweet tooth and sometimes you can go through the gummies a little bit too fast and guys if you want to go and take a look yourself make sure you use code triple b40 at checkout to save 40 percent the link is in the description below